everybody, it's Paige and today's video is going to be my December update and January goals for my project Use It Up. I am so excited to be doing this video. I made my initial Project Use It Up video last month and it was my December goals video. So this video is my first update video. I got this idea from Lauren May Beauty. Lauren May Beauty. I will leave her channel linked down below. I love her so much. She's amazing. She's so good at these videos. So total inspiration from her. Just a disclaimer, this is not my idea and I'm sure other people have done this too. but. Just wanted to put that out there so yeah let's just get right on into it um it is the very end of the month it's like december 26th today so i'm gonna go ahead and film this and then i'll let you know what progress i've made this month and then what i hope to do next month so the first product is the paul mitchell smoothing super skinny serum i did use this a lot um but there's still a lot of product in here. I'm going to keep this in here. I just feel like it is a little bit too heavy for my hair personally. I do have pretty uh, blonde, kind of thin-ish. Not thin, but I don't, I don't have a ton of hair. It's pretty fine and it's blonde so it looks super greasy, super fast. And I feel like this kind of adds to that a little bit. But I, you just, So you just have to use the tiniest bit so it takes forever. To use up but it is a nice product um i can't wait till it's gone this is my second bottle of this product so i can't wait to start using other kinds of hair um serums slash treatments i guess but in the meantime this is a nice product i'm just kind of tired of using it but i'm keeping it in because i'm dedicated to finishing up this product so that's my progress on the first item my next item is the Forever Sunshine Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works, and I did use this probably four or five times, but there's still um, there's still quite a few uses left in here. I use this all over my legs and my arms to get as much use out of this each time I use it, because every time I get my hands all like lotion-y, it's like, ugh, kind of feels kind of gross. So every time I use this, I make sure I'm getting as much area as I can. So I still love the smell of this. This is super old, old packaging. So this needs to be moved out of the collection. So I'm keeping my collection, I guess I should say. So I'm keeping this in for next month. Oh, I didn't say what my goals were. So for the Paul Mitchell soothing hair lotion serum thing, um, I hope to get down to the bottom of the M in Mitchell. That's my goal for January, for the end of January. And then my goal for this is to finish it up because um, I definitely can finish this up in a month. I could finish this up in a week if I was like super dedicated, but this will definitely um, hopefully be finished up next month. Next, I have the Love and Sunshine spray from Bath & Body Works. This, I made quite a bit of progress on. It was about halfway filled uh, in my initial video, so I did use this up quite a bit. And my goals for this are to finish it up completely by the end of January because I feel like that's not that hard. I, I know I can do it. My next product is the Bath & Body Works Pink Chiffon um, body spray. and. This I did get some progress on too. I use this for the same thing. Room spray. Sometimes I'll spray my pillowcase or like my sheets or comforter or whatever. Or myself. Just, you know, I just, I'm pretty generous with this stuff because um, I only have a little bit left. And I have a ton of these body sprays and stuff. So yeah, um, I think this smells great. My goal for this is to have this completely finished by next month, which I think is quite obtainable. Next, I have the uh, First Aid Beauty uh, Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay, and this is completely finished. I finished this off, and I'm so excited, so I'm taking this out of the project and putting it into my empties because it's empty. So, uh, I finished one! Woohoo! I'm proud of myself. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how proud I should be, but I'm proud. That's my That was my one and only product that I finished up this month. Just spoil, spoiler alert, but... Anyways, next I have the Way Hair Care Treatment Mask, and I did not use this a single time, so it is still just as full as it was last month, but I'm really, I'm going to use it this month. I'm going to use it this month, so I'm keeping it in because I am determined to use that. 
Next I have the, well I don't have it anymore, it's the Skin Fix little miniature hand cream and I actually ended up giving that to my dad because he had dry, dry hands and he was like, hey Paige, do you have any like lotion? Like ju just lotion, like just moisturize, no nothing fancy, um, no nothing scented, whatever and I was like, yeah I do and so I just ended up giving him that because... I don't know, you know, I had it. He's going to use it more than me. He's going to appreciate it more than me. So I don't have that in my project anymore because I gave it to him. So that one's gone. Um, not because I used it up, but because I gave it away. But um, I mean, I don't know. I still think it's going to get great use. So I'm not bothered by that. Next, I have the Nutrition Nutri Seduction Pure Veil stuff. And I don't think I used this once. I might have used it once. Maybe. This is my heat protectant, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't used this yet, but um, not since I did my initial video, but I really need to start using it because like I said in my previous video, I have started using heat on my hair a lot more, so I do need to start using this again, and I'm going to do my best to do that next month, so I'm keeping that in. Next, I have the Lush... Um, the soft touch body butter and I did use this quite a few times um, I'll show you the close-ups to how much progress there is I feel like the arch in the product is a lot deeper now um, after using it but I still have quite a bit of product left on that one and then my last little section of products are all of these samples and honestly I didn't use a single sample and I think I think I might just give them all away. Um, I have quite a bit of them. I didn't use a single one. So I think I'm going to take these out and just give these to someone that will actually use them. And then um, I do have a few products that I'm going to add into the project. Okay, so my three products that I'm adding into the project are the Biore Freer Pores Baking Soda. I guess this is the acne scrub is what it's called. So I'm adding this to the project. I have never used this before, so it's basically full. It is obviously a travel-sized product. Um, I feel like I could definitely finish this up in a month, especially if I use it as frequently as I do most facial exfoliators. So I don't think I'll have a problem using this up this month. And then my next product is the Loxetane, Loxeton a uh, precious cream and um, this is a very tiny container of it and I do have like a dome dipping into it but it's still it still has a lot of product it's all the way filled up to the sides of this jar so there's still a lot of product in here but I feel like um, I could finish this up it says to apply to your face and neck morning and evening um, so depending on how generous I am with this product I feel like I could use it up this month, um, but my goal, I'll just set a low goal. I'll, my goal is to finish up half of it. So that's my, um, you know, my conservative goal uh, to finish up half of this in the month of January. And then my last product that I'm adding is this Formula X nail color in the shade Ignite. This is a mini one that I got a, few, a year ago, maybe a while ago. So uh, maybe it was more than a year ago. It might have been two years ago, but this is about half full and I just painted my toes with this the other day and I feel like I can definitely use this up in January as long as I use it two or three more times. So I'm really excited to use this up. I decided to add a nail polish because um, I really want to start getting into the mood of painting my nails again. Well, now that I'm in nursing school, I can't paint my nails actually, but I can paint my toenails, so I'm going to try to get into the habit of doing that more so that I can, you know, because I have a lot of nail polish that needs to be used, so I thought I would start adding nail polishes into my Project Use It Ups as well. So yeah, that is everything for my Project Use It Up December update and January goals. <laughs> um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next one. Bye!